In Photoshop, the top window is called the Application Bar menu, and below this is called the Control menu, which is dictated by the tools on the left. There's also this group of panels, which are called Panel Groups, and the Document Area. For this tutor, we'll just look at the Tool Panel. Basically, you can make selections, crop, measure, retouch, paint, draw, type and navigate, and even 3D. The selection tools cover the Move tool. Move se uh, selections, layers and guides. The Marquee tool makes rectangular, single row and single columns. The lasso makes freehand, polygon, straight edged and magnetic snap to selections. The quick selection tools let you quickly paint a selection using an adjustable round brush tip. The magic wand tool selects similarly coloured areas. We now go on to the crop tools. The crop tool trims images. The perspective crop tool allows to correct perspective distortions. The slice tool creates slices and the slice select tool selects these slices and make further adjustments. Measuring the eye drop tool samples colors in an image. The 3D material, uh, material eyedropper is for when you option click a material to load it and then click anywhere to drop it to another part of your model, another 3D mesh or another 3D layer. A color sample tool displays color values for up to four areas. The ruler tool measures distances, locations and angles. The note tool makes notes that you can attach to an image. And count tool counts objects in an image. This is only available in Photoshop Extended. Now we'll proceed to retouching tools. And we've got the spot healing brush. Removes the blemishes and objects. The healing brush points with a sample or pattern to repair imperfections in an image. The patch tool repairs imperfections in a selected area of the image using a sample or pattern. Content Aware Move tool allows manually resculpturing a photograph, similar to the patch tool, but you can extend and move and fill. The Red Eye tool removes the red reflection caused by flash. Now we're looking at painting tools. The Brush tool paints brush strokes, pencil paints hard edge strokes and the colour replacement tool replaces a selected colour with a new colour. And finally, the mixer brush tool s simulates realistic painting techniques such as blending canvas colours and varying paint wetnesses. Now we're going to the cloning. The cloning stamp paints with a, s a sample of an image. 
the pattern stamp paints with part of an image as a pattern. More multiple image states. The history brush paints a copy of the selected state or snapshot into the current image window. The history brush therefore lets you select, restore um, the previous held image information as desired. Art history brush with stylized strokes that simulate the look of different paint styles using a selected state or snapshot. And now we go on to the Erase sections. The Erase tool erases pixels and restores parts of an image to a previously saved state. The Background Eraser tool erases to transparency by dragging. The Magic Eraser tool erases solid coloured areas to transparency with a single click. Think of it as a Magic Wand tool, but instead it's just selecting similar pixels as it deletes them. Now we move on to gradients. The gradient tool creates straight line, radical angles, reflected and diamond blends between colours. The paint bucket tool fills similarly coloured areas with foreground colours. And the 3D material drop is when you option click a material to load it and then click anywhere to drop it to another part of the model or another 3D mesh or another 3D layer. Use the 3D select material tool to help target the right material as indicated by the material picker thumbnail in the 3D panel. Right, distortion. Uh, the first one is the blur tool. Blurs hard edges in an image. The sharpening tool sharpens soft edges in the image. And the smudge tool smudges data in an image. Adjustments. The dodge tool lightens areas in an image. The burn tool darkens areas in the image. And the sponge tool changes the colour saturation of an area. Now we go to drawing and type fonts. The pen tools let you draw smooth edged paths. Uh, the freeform pen draws paths as you were drawing with a pencil on paper. Uh, add anchor point. Adding anchor points can give you more control over paths. Uh, delete anchor points if you want less anchor points. And convert points. Controls, smooths and points. Now we're going to, this, to type in text. We have horizontal type direction, vertical type direction, horizontal type mask which uh, creates a selection border in the shape of the type and then the vertical type mask uh, creates a selection border in the shape of a type vertical okay now we go on to paths um, the path selection tools makes a shape or segment selected showing anchor points directly direction lines and direction points. The direction selection tool selects the points in the path. And then we go on to shapes. The shape tool provides an easy way to create buttons, navigate bars and other elements used in wedge page design. So we've got rectangle, rounded rectangle, polygon, lines and customized shapes. The move section. The hand tool moves an image within its window. The rotate rule 
non-destructively rotates the canvas. And final one, the zoom. You can zoom in and out of an image for more detail. Okay, that's a, an overview of the control, the the tool panel on the left hand side. We'll then look in the next video at the applications control bar at the top and see what we can do. Thank you.